Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how ESA creates artificial solar eclipses in space. The European Space Agency has succeeded in creating an artificial total solar eclipse in space. It has now released photos of the event showing the mind-boggling phenomenon created using two spacecraft that were launched last year. They are on display at the Paris Air Show, where the spacecraft can be seen reaching a particular position with the sun in the background. ESA had launched the two spacecraft last year as part of the £208 million Proba 3 mission to learn about the sun's corona and solar storms. The mission took its first photos of the sun's outer atmosphere, the solar corona. They flew as one spacecraft in stunning synchronization to achieve the results. The ESA shared, this March, the coronagraph and the occulta, the two spacecraft, flew 150 meters apart in perfect formation for several hours without any control from the ground. The spacecraft are small cube structures and less than five feet in size. They aligned with each other and maintained their relative position down to a single millimeter, almost becoming one. This was made possible by a set of innovative navigation and positioning technologies on board them. After precisely positioning themselves, they used their formation flying time to create artificial total solar eclipses in orbit. They aligned perfectly with the sun so that the 1.4 meters large disk on the Occulta spacecraft covered the bright disk of the sun. This created an 8 centimeter shadow for the coronagraph spacecraft cast onto its optical instrument, aspics, or association of spacecraft for polarimetric and imaging investigation of the corona. The shadow covered the 5 cm aperture of aspix, leading it to capture the solar corona without any hindrance from the sun's bright light. One of the photos shows green-hued waves shooting out from behind the satellites. Dietmar Pilz ESA Director of Technology, Engineering and Quality comments. Many of the technologies which allowed Proba 3 to perform precise formation flying have been developed through ESA's General Support Technology Program, as has the mission itself. It is exciting to see these stunning images validate our technologies in what is now the world's first precision formation flying mission. The breakthrough event will help scientists learn about coronal mass ejections. CMEs, that send waves of particles shooting into the solar system. They are responsible for disrupting radio and communication signals on Earth, and also for the beautiful auroras. The Sun is currently in a highly active state and has recently released plumes of plasma into space. Notably, the temperature recorded on the Sun's corona is more than a million degrees Celsius. This is much hotter than its surface. Scientists have been trying to learn the reason behind it, and Proba 3 aims to dive deep into this by studying the corona very close to the sun's surface. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.